This is Jane's videos. And it is opening weekend of Fearville 2024. Yesterday was our opening night, but I didn't want to record because it was a rainy night. We didn't have everything fully up and operational. But tonight is going to be a great night. And I am excited. We are here. Welcome to Maple Hollow. And we have people back here. Pretty sick. Stuff is happening. <gasps> is that Lindy? Is that Lindy's chair? What is that? It's you, Jaden. That is me. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's, what that's what I look like. That's Trixie. She's pretty spooky. This is courtesy of her and her. Trick or treaters. All right, we're gonna walk through real quick. Just show you what's what's happening. Um, made some adjustments from last night. I got a bigger speaker for the cemetery because last night we got a pretty small one. Got a much bigger one. There's a ghost flying over the cemetery right there. Look at that. That is so sick. Oh, that is awesome. I love that so much. Here you go, here you got the cemetery. And you got Emmeline over here. Pretty sick. Oh yeah. We are in business, baby. Lindy's not, she's, she's clocking out for the night. She's done with her job. She's done with her duty and there's a ghost haunting her. Why are you doing this? Because I need to get a picture of my work, that's why. That's a <laughs> it's like a cinematic angle. There's Jack is back, Jack Carver Pumpkins. What the hell? Why isn't this on? We're gonna get it on. This witch costume. I'm I'm playing the witch tonight, and I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yesterday I was the spirit of autumn, today I'm the witch, and I think that's gonna be a whole lot of fun.
originally this part of the video was not intended because I did not think what happened would happen. Um, this video was just supposed to be the opening weekend uh, fear vlog. And uh, I'm also going to explain why there hasn't been very many uploads this month yet, even though it's the month of October and this is usually my busiest month for uploads. We got absolutely slammed by Hurricane Milton. Lost power for days, it's back up now, but we lost it for days and I haven't been able to upload. Um, and uh, the haunt did suffer greatly uh, and that was very unfortunate for sure. Um, there was a lot of damage to both Shelter 16 and Maple Hollow. I didn't want to show it when it was fully decimated um, right after the hurricane because it was not a pretty sight. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've, you probably saw it because I was posting it over there. It was pretty nasty. It was bad. The, all the walls were on the ground, shacks were torn apart, stuff was everywhere everywhere like there was stuff completely on the other side of the farm it was intense but as they say in Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room every cloud has a silver line and that is true um, a lot of bad came out of the hurricane but at least for me and at least for Fearville the bad came with it some good and maybe it's just me being optimistic and looking into good things, but there is a lot of good that has come out of this. And that is why I wanted to make this part of the video because there's gonna be so many changes that I think you guys should know about and, and see the progress of. So, because of the hurricane, well for one, on the tail end of the hurricane was a cold front and we haven't had any cool weather this fall yet. Usually we get something in September, nothing this year. This cold front has brought the temperatures down and it finally feels like fall. Not only that, we're gonna get another cold front in only two days. So, whoop de doo that is great. Um, but the biggest thing is we are, we canceled the 11th and 12th for our event. Expectedly, because the hurricane hit on Wednesday night into Thursday so we could not open Friday and Saturday. Here we are, today is October 14th, it is Monday, and I'm still picking up remnants of the haunt and rebuilding. Um, and I've been here every day doing this. So yeah, there was no way we were gonna open then. But some great came out of that, because the first weekend, we were hit with another hurricane, not as bad, only about a week before our opening weekend. And so I did have to rush and I had to hurry up and get this haunt on the road and get it moving and get it ready to open when I wasn't fully prepared yet. Uh, the haunt did do well the first weekend, 100% it did, but... Whoa. At least for myself, it wasn't fully what I wanted just yet because there were things I wasn't able to complete that I wanted to complete. Now, we didn't have a super busy first weekend. It was probably our slowest first weekend we've had, but with the hurricane and everything, it made sense. So, since we canceled this past weekend, we have added Halloween night in addition to the 18th, 19th, 25th, and 26th. So we still have five nights left. And I've basically said, and I've told the team, I'm treating the first weekend as our test run because it wasn't full-blown ready, what I wanted it to be, because I didn't have time to finish everything I wanted. And so now, now that this is passed, now that there's cool weather, now that people are getting back in good spirits, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who wanna be doing more Halloween stuff, not only because Halloween's getting closer, but to get their mind off of what we've been through, I think these other nights of the event are going to be our best, and not only am I adding so much to the haunt in preparation, but they're just gonna be so much better, I think. And I'm, I'm super hyped, I am. I'm gonna tell you, I am super hyped. The first weekend I treated as our test run, now, on the 18th and 19th, this upcoming Friday and Saturday, I'm treating this as our official opening where it will fully be what I want it to be, and we will have, hopefully, way more people. Because, you know, now that we've got great weather, everything's going much better, I think it's gonna do a lot better. So, I wanted to include this part in the fear vlog because I am adding so much stuff to the haunt 
that it's basically still a build. Even though we are in the middle of October now, well, not quite yet, but even though we're nearing the middle of October and the haunt already was open technically, we aren't fully open until this weekend because this weekend is when we are gonna go full force at this thing and we are gonna have these weekends and nights that we have left, these five whole nights, to be absolutely incredible. And I am so hyped about this. I'm so hyped for all the adjustments. So let me just walk you through real quick. You'll probably see there's no roof on here yet because that did, we took that down so that it wouldn't get blown off. These walls were actually snapped. Um, and so we braced these, so these are fine. Now I still have to find some more of the window frame. Um, most of my walls fared very well. They had no issues, they just fell on the ground and I had to put them back up. But falling on the ground made them dirty and I like that because it makes them creepier. Uh, so as you can see, this doesn't look much different than when you saw it. Shirley's not in her place yet, but this doesn't look much different than when you saw it because yeah, I already got it back and fixed. There's a bunch of stuff scattered on this table here simply because uh, this is stuff that was left to dry out. I'm gonna move this today and I'm gonna put up these leaves again in the witch house because I took those down. Grandfather clock, I had it over there, but this wall, I lost a pole. So I had a, a pole here, so this wall was connected this way. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make the wall diagonal instead of buy another pole and have to put another pole in. I can just make it diagonal. And I think it looks so much cooler because it looks a lot more like a real house because houses don't just have sharp turns. A lot of them have like, especially a dining room, which is what this is, has diagonals. And I just think that diagonal really adds to the character of the haunt. Uh, and I'm happy about that. All of this stuff was pretty uh, ruined. This whole shack was torn apart. Obviously, as you can see, it is back now. This shack actually fared pretty well. The last hurricane tore this one apart, but this time this one was mostly intact. So that's a good thing. And obviously all these props and animatronics were all put indoors so they did not get ruined. Um, as you can see, everything looks basically the same as it did before. It's just that because, I mean, I've, I've been working hard at rebuilding it, so it's already looking back to how it was. I mean, there's still some things that need to be fixed, but uh, that's besides the point. Cemeteries here, uh, you know, everything's coming back together how it was. Now, I have added one thing. <laughs> it's just one thing for now, but I'll, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna be improving the haunt and fully completing it this week uh, so that it will be full force for our five nights of the event. I bought that at Home Depot because our Home Depots in the area have put their Halloween on sale because of the hurricane. Honestly, I think they're making a bad choice business-wise because they're just practically giving stuff away because of the hurricane. And I don't really know why because we've, I mean, yeah, there has been devastation, but as a whole, a lot of people have already recovered from it. We're already back in business. Everything's going smoothly again. So the fact that they're just giving stuff away is kind of crazy to me, but I mean, they're not, but the sales are pretty intense and they have everything on sale. So I bought this guy right here uh, and he goes there now and I'm going to put the black heart because I didn't have the black heart out here for the first uh, weekend. He's going to go over there next to that. And I think that should be pretty sick. I'm going to actually have lighting on this area because I didn't get my lighting down here before. Um, as you can see, a lot of this is the same. Like I said, I just wanted to show you basically how much it's been rebuilt before I even start to work on the new stuff. I'm going to do a lot more lights because I had time to order more lights and stuff. Um, you know, all of this is essentially exactly how it was. Not much different back to how it was. Um, that facade roof isn't on yet, and these side walls have not been put back on yet. Those will be done soon. Uh, but yeah, because that wall's a diagonal, this one's a diagonal too now, and it looks so much better than just having a straight shot. I mean, having it diagonal just makes this whole thing, it gives, it makes it more three-dimensional, gives it more depth. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, I, like I said, there hasn't been too much added just yet, but over this week, I'm going to be adding so much more, and this haunt is going to be so much better than it even was the first weekend, and I'm super happy about that. Which, I'm going to show you one thing I bought. I bought this because it was $50 off, uh, pumpkin archway. I wanted to get this originally for the haunt, but again, I just did not have time to go out and get it. Um, and I just kind of, you know, ran scarce with our opening. But now that we're reopening, uh, I decided to get this 
And uh, finally, I have this because this is just so perfect for the haunt. I'm so happy to have that. And I also bought some more corn stalks as well because my most of my corn stalks survived the storm, but I. I, I originally had them sparse throughout the like I had some over there and some over there But that meant there weren't as the bunch wasn't as full and it didn't look as complete Whereas I put them all like in that area now So I need to buy some more for over there. So that looks better But yeah, we're gonna get to we're gonna get this show on the road. We're gonna get some stuff done and uh, I'm really excited to bring this haunt back from the dead So I know it's dark. It's very hard to see um, but today is Wednesday, October 16th. We are two days away from our reopening and it is cold out tonight. It is like, well, to most of you it's probably not cold, but it is close to around 60, dropping, actually I think it's 50 something right now, to be fair, which um, for Florida Octobers, we always do get cool weather as October wanes on, but I think this might be one of our coldest ones in quite a while. Uh, I can't remember in October being this chilly uh, for a while, so we got some nice fall weather. But I wanted to show you guys all the progress that has been done with rebuilding and adding stuff leading up to our reopening. Uh, even if it is kind of hard to see some things right now, I'm actually going to fix this light and make it shine on that more. But that, as you can see, I wrote trick or treat on the wall here with uh, spirit perma blood. And I think that just adds something because this space was very empty. I didn't like it. I felt like it needed a little something and I thought that would be cool. It's very much like the movie Trick or Treat. So whoever killed her wrote that on the wall in her blood. Um, I like it. I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, and also that I have this pumpkin pail here with the candy corn falling out of it. Because I did have candy corn on this table. Just kind of randomly sporadic. Uh, but I figured it would probably make more sense and be cooler if I had the pumpkin pail tipped over like it fell out of it. I think that's pretty sweet. Um, <clears throat> go over here. There is Shirley Stab, who I covered in Perma Blood. And, uh, you know, I'm not a Perma Blood expert. I'm not great at it. I'm still getting uh, uh, my hand on doing it. I've never done it before. Um,. But I think this looks pretty sweet. Like, I think for my first time, it looks pretty solid. And I definitely think no matter what, it looks better than it did before. Shirley needed some blood. I sprayed some blood on her uh, originally, but it, it was just spray blood, so it dried and it didn't stay on there. But perma blood stays. And I put a lot because she's supposed to have just butchered someone and carved her face to be a jack o' lantern. She needed some blood. It only makes sense. So she's got a lot of blood. Here's the table here. The, and it's very windy out tonight as well. Uh, here's the table. There are fall leaves all over the ground. The wind has blown them everywhere. Oh, well, they were uh, placed around the table, but I'm not going to redo that until the wind dies down because they're just going to keep blowing. Uh, but here's the table, uh, all nice and, and uh, cool looking. Got that thing in the center there, and I have Distortions Unlimited Death at the end there. This is just looking so much more complete than it was the first weekend. Like I said, I, I kind of rushed to open the first weekend because we had just recovered from a hurricane the week prior and um, it, it was a lot of stuff I didn't get to do that I wanted to do and so I'm really glad that we didn't open last weekend and had this whole extra week to prepare for our reopening um, and I think these these um, weekends that we have remaining are going to be our best uh, possibly in Fearville history who knows because I am feeling very very happy with how things are turning out like this whole dining room scene makes this look a lot more complete and I'm actually gonna shut my flashlight off so I can show you the lighting I got a new light because this area originally did not have any light in it I had this clock up against the wall but there was no light shining on it because I ran out of lights this extra week gave me some extra time to purchase some new lights so I've got a light shining on both death and the clock which I'm actually repositioning a little bit here there we go I just think this looks so much more complete like this. I'm really happy with that. I've got the flicker lamp over here to illuminate this little area with the mirror on the wall, the chairs and the pumpkins. And I did have fall leaves placed around this as well. But again, the wind is just going to keep knocking those. So I'm not even going to put those up yet. But yes, this, this little corner area here. And this side doesn't have anything on it. There's no wall 
uh, painted walls. It's just that. But that's okay because I'm going to, last weekend I didn't have an actor here, but I probably will have an actor jump out from around a corner here. Uh, so I can't have a wall there if that's going to be the case. But also my goal is to have people's attention drawn to this side anyways. So it's fine. And this side has a, the right there has a wall. So I'd say that's good enough. Um, as you can see. I bought these at Spirit because I felt like I needed some curtains and some stuff to hang down, touch people in the face. Uh, they had these shredded curtains. I got the bloody one because I, I felt like, you know, even though this is a classic Halloween trick-or-treat haunt, this whole first scene, it has quite a bit of blood because, uh, yes, it is a classic house decorated for Halloween, but clearly there's been some carnage that has happened here because of Shirley's stab, and so I think it's only natural that there would be some bloody curtains in this house, and it leads out here, makes this more separated, makes it look better. Um, here we've got the apple shop. Those, that creepy cloth is not going to stay there. I'm actually about to put that up. I got that this giant wad of creepy cloth on Amazon. It's huge. Uh, it came with a ton of it, and I'm going to place that uh, in the witch house, kind of uh, put it up places. Here's the pumpkin archway, which this is not where it's going. Um, it is going right in the pat in the middle of the path here. I just can't have it there during the day because this uh, this uh, tr this path here is actually used for a um, what's it called a track for pedal carts during the day and then it transitions for the haunt at night. So I can't have it in the path during the day because uh, you know it would be in the way. But that is that's where it's going to go. Um, I'm actually going to set up its light there. The, again, it's, it's windy, so some stuff's blown around, so just don't mind that. Um, I got some more pumpkins just to fill this area out some more. You know, here's the Jack Carver's pumpkin shack. Back up and running, as it should be. Nice and sweet. Cemetery, I added more stuff. The monument looks like it just fell down. Again, it's windy, so I'm not even going to bother to fix that right now. Because it's just going to fall again. Um, but I did add some things to the cemetery. I put, now they're not, they're not really there anymore because they fell down, but <laughs> I put pieces of the mausoleum archway from Home Depot on the ground um, to look like it's sinking into the water. No, some of them blew down uh, because that archway doesn't, it, it's broke. I can't put it together anymore, so I just did that instead. Um, Emmeline's in this position right now. She hasn't been working too well. I feel like the storm probably got to her because she was put away, but the shed she was in got a little flooded. So I think it kind of messed with her electronics, which is very unfortunate. Um, but she's still working, just not, she's not jumping as fast and as far as before. So that's something I'm going to have to look at. And if I don't have time to look at it before reopening, I think she still looks cool just hovering right here um, in this position in the cemetery. So if she can't be operational um, for our reopening, at least she looks cool. So you probably heard him, but here's the black heart. I got some new lights for the cemetery and I put the black heart here. He suffered from water too, where his arm, there's a problem with the relay where it keeps moving and it doesn't stop moving. Um, so that's an issue that's going to have to be fixed. Uh, so right now I just have him not moving the arm. I just have it so you can see the corpse and he just talks, which I think works fine. Uh, I'd like for it to be working better, but you know, it's, it is what it is. He had a storm, kind of damaged some things, but uh, we have that tombstone back there. So this is, this is probably the coolest part of the archway because it didn't fall over, and I don't think it will because it's staying up pretty well. This part coming up out of the water there. Uh, over here we have the lovely Max Straw, who's not going to go off because I unplugged him because he wouldn't shut up earlier. And I do have some brand new corn stalks in this area. One blew over with the wind, but I'll pick it up when the wind dies down. Uh, but he's here looking pretty cool. I still wish I had more in this little area, but I don't really think it needs anything. Um, it's mostly fine how it is. <clears throat> Alright, in the witch house we are. Um... This cabinet shelf thing here has a new light on it. Um, I put orange because the green, I mean, there was already green in there, so I just put orange. Uh, I think it breaks it up better, makes it look better. And my mom did this. She did these these lights behind stuff, um, which I was actually hesitant. I wasn't sure if I was going to like how this looks, but it's, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. We'll see, but actually, I think... 
it's pretty sweet. I might keep, I'll, I'll probably keep it. I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, we have that orange light on that and then the green light on all the stuff on the shelves. Um, fall leaves, of course. And then I added a bunch of candles to this shelf here with all these potion bottles. It illuminates that without a need of a spotlight. And then back here, I did add coyote head and a minx to this area where the witch is, which actually I'm playing the witch now. I was originally the Spirit of Autumn, but that mask is just so uncomfortable and it's so hard to play a character in that mask, um, which kind of sucks because silicone masks are supposed to be very comfortable and they're supposed to be better than regular, but it's really not. It's worse. <laughs> and the mouth just doesn't move that well. Like it, it's very unfortunate, but that's just how it is. So I decided to do the witch instead, but also because we don't have a steady person who who's able to keep playing the witch, because we have different actors acting different nights. So it'd have to be a different actor each night playing the witch. And I think it's easier to just have me do it every night because I already know what I want to do. I already know you know the plan for that. So it's just easier. Um, and I'm, I'm having a lot more fun with it, too. Uh, but over here, I added this uh, nice flickering lantern. Just little details here and there that I'm adding that were not here originally, and I'm happy with it. I'm really glad that I'm adding little stuff, and that I have time to add extra little stuff, which actually I'm going to do a few more things right now, but then I'm going to head out for the night. So, it's pitch black right now. <laughs> there you go. I don't think I ever showed it, but for the first weekend, the scare zone was up. Hold on, let me see if I can get over there. It was up here on a stage. You can't even fully see it. I'm not going to walk all the way over there, but it was on a stage and it was, um, it was, uh, it, the DJ was originally here, but the DJ was moved over there to the stage area to get further away from the haunt so it doesn't mess with the haunt audio and atmosphere. Um, so I moved the scare zone here for the rest of the event, and I honestly think it looks better here. Um, obviously, there's not too much in it, but mostly what I want it to be, it's not really a scare zone last year like AI Apocalypse. It's more of a character interaction thing. I'm going to have characters dressed up walking around here, which we were kind of low-staffed last weekend because of the weather, so we didn't have that uh, feature. But now that the scare zone is in a new spot and everything, I hope to have that up and running for this weekend. There's one other thing that I wanted to show because it's completely awesome and I'm so glad I did it because the witch house for the first weekend was a little empty. Like I said, improvements were going to be made for the rest of the uh, event upon our reopening and improvements have been made. Okay, so the fall leaves are already here. I think you guys knew that. But these, all of the creepy cloth was never here. And there wasn't as many fall leaves. I added so many more. I have them cl climbing up the walls now. I have some hanging down to hit people in the face. Like this, all the detail I added to this scene, just from stuff hanging from the ceiling. Like it wasn't even any extra props or anything, but just stuff hanging from the ceiling just makes it look, now since I shut the light off, you can't see it. It just makes it look so much more full like this and it's hard to see it on on camera but it just looks so much more filled out and it's just so much cooler looking in my opinion like i'm i'm so much happier with this scene now uh 100 i'm i'm very happy with how it's coming now that i've done this um so yeah that that's a that's a thing i did and i also hung this curtain here um, but last but not least, I did put some creepy cloth on the apple stand because it just needed a little something. And I put this light here because this is going to be shining on the archway when the archway is put in its place. There's still some things I'm going to do and things I'm going to add during the day tomorrow and um, even during the day before we reopen on Friday. However, I'm not going to record those in a fear vlog because, you know, it's just going to be little stuff. Like, I'm going to have some branches for dead trees along this path to fill this path out some more. Going to hang a few more banners and bunting. Um, if I have time, I'm going to make some sheet ghosts. Uh, you know, just little things that I don't fully need to record because, I mean, you guys will see them in the official walkthroughs when they come out anyways. And you'll also be seeing them in the more behind-the-scenes videos, which leads me to my outro for this. I'll be under the green light here. All right, so this was the final build video of the Fear Vlogs, which the last one was supposed to be, 
but because of our hurricane predicament and closing and now reopening a whole week, actually two weeks after our opening weekend, it's been two weeks and we are reopening now uh, for the remainder of October. And I mean, we're only halfway through the month. We still have a whole half of October left and they're gonna, it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be truly awesome and I think this was in a way a blessing in disguise for the event because it gave me more time to truly perfect and add things that I didn't feel I was able to complete in time so I'm very happy about that and I think uh, you know I'm, I'm very happy but you're gonna see so many more videos now that my powers back <laughs> I'm gonna try to get as many out as possible of course this October is just not going to be as active as some of my past Octobers have been simply because I've already gone half the month without too many uploads because of the predicament. But hey, this year is just not working out the greatest when it comes to weather and everything and it's having kind of a, a bit of a downfall and everything, but it's still Halloween and we're still going to enjoy it and I still have more videos coming your way for sure. I'll try to do as many as I can to make up for it. But I am definitely going to have more fear vlogs and behind the scenes of Fearville as we uh, do these other weekends. I'm definitely going to record some good footage for our reopening, some behind the scene stuff and I'm also going to record stuff for the weekend after that and for Halloween night so there's plenty more fear vlogs to come this season I mean in a way the season is still just now getting good <laughs> of course I can't say just now beginning because of course for us Halloween starts in like September and August but it is just now getting down to the good part where everyone is getting in the Halloween spirit as we near Halloween itself and so there's just so much more stuff ahead and I hope you're looking forward to the more behind the scenes of the fear vlogs and of course the walkthroughs and stuff of the haunt uh, once those come out. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember that here lies Halloween.